Hi guys, it's Mike here. Today I'm back with the oldie but goodie and it's a dandelion stamp and I had a perfect happy birthday make a wish. Um, somehow we make wishes on dandelions. But first I wanted to um, have a word of caution. Uh, you remember these? They are from Stamping Bella, the unicorns and the little dragons. They were so small I couldn't color them. So I scanned them enlarge them in Photoshop and this is my um, uh, scrap paper to see uh, the positioning and this is how I color them. So you can uh, do this for your own personal use but if you do this you can't sell them. There's copyright infringement and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> there's also angel policies and everything but don't do it. So that was <laughs> my warning for today. Um, onto the card. It's um, from Marianne Design and it is uh, TC0837. I don't know which year it is. I had it for a few years and I'm gonna do some ink blending. And these recipes you can find them if you follow the link down below. And I'm using that middle one with the addition of mustard seed because I thought it would look like a summery tropical sunset. And I actually made a mask with Inca Dinka Doo paper <laughs> for the sun and then decided against it. So, also, I wanted to show you if you mark your magnets when they snap to each other and then turn them around, you can repel them and not have them snap together. See, with four, it's a bit more difficult because <laughs> you're near. Yeah. But I put some stickers on this, I tried with. Um, color them red and green with my uh, alcohol markers but they didn't stick so be careful maybe sharpie would work i didn't try i just put on a sticker there and the happy birthday is from uh, sizzix uh, uh, birthday by stephanie barnard and that's also old i'm not sure if it says somewhere mm, nope i don't think it does <laughs> Oh, 2014. It does. Yay. So, um, yeah, also oldie, but goodie. I mean, if you have a set with all these birthday wishes, I don't see the point in buying more sets. <laughs> uh, this is WOW normal white embossing powder. It's opaque, which is quite <laughs> important, I guess. You can't see much on it on the white paper. I'm sorry about that, but I'm heat setting it and letting you see how it melts, but then you can't see it. <laughs> that was smart, right? So I put um, a bit of paper underneath for the ink blending and uh, yeah, there's my son and I thought it would look nice underneath or just behind offset from the dandelion and then I change my mind. Hmm. So I'm starting with the picked raspberry and this is by the way in four times speed because that took me quite a while and the paper I'm using is my uh, Canon uh, digital copy paper cardstock 140 pounds that I get from the copy shop and it's slightly coated for the laser printer <laughs> so yeah see I put this scrap underneath so I would keep my surface clean and then I put the cap on and ugh. anyway and then I, I um, after picked raspberry I went to festive berries and now I'm doing abandoned coral and then mustard seed and I'm blending the mustard seed a little bit further into abandoned coral so it, it becomes a bit more orangey because it's quite pinky I think and my um, festive berries was just re-inked and it's a bit moist so I'm going over it with festive berries again just to uh, even out the uh, <laughs> the depth I think and I'm wiping off the uh, color there's not much but I want the embossing powder to be white of course and there's my fingerprints <laughs> yeah. 
I could have put a sequin on it actually, but the foam tip, the um, mat is one centimeter smaller. I'm not sure how much it is. I think half an inch. So I um, pulled out some sequins. These are iridescent with a little bit of a pink hue to them. And I thought I would add a nice little shimmer. And um, you may know these, my uh, homemade glue dots on a uh, silicone baking sheet. That's non-stick. And this is uh, Aline Tacky over and over, which I just drop on there or put on there and then let it dry. And then keep them. <laughs> so that's the card finished. Thank you for watching. And I hope you like it. And I will see you again soon. <laughs> Bye.